So this is the Pure i20 um, iPod dock. And the best thing about this dock is it has a digital optical out so that I can go directly into my desktop DAC and bypass the internal DAC of the iPod. It also has coaxial digital out as well as analog outs as well. So it has a built-in DAC in here as well. I'm not sure how high quality the built-in DAC of it is because I haven't tried that. But it works quite well. And um, this is one of the few ones that I could find that was priced pretty well, yet had the digital output to go directly into my external DAC. So this one was only about 100 bucks. You know, they have other ones that are in the 200 to $300 range. Uh, but I liked the design of this one. I think it's made by a British company, but it's actually you know made in China. And let me see if I can just pull this out and show you the back of it real quick here. So you've got you know all the setting. I mean all the uh, jacks there. As you can see, I've got an optical uh, cable going directly out from there into my Burson conductor. This is the external DAC, which I'll be doing a review on this. It's a head. It's a three-in-one unit. It's a headphone amp, DAC, and preamp. Um, I'll be doing a review on that shortly uh, in another video. But I did want to show you this. So basically, your iPhone or iPod or whatever will just go right into here, and it's a little bit tough because I'm doing this with one hand but it just pops in there. It also charges it. So, um, it charges the, you know, iPod, iPod, and then, you know, you can just play music through your uh, home stereo system. I've got it turned way down right now, but it works quite well, and the quality is very good. It's, you know, pretty much indistinguishable between if I'm playing from my computer, uh, you know, via the USB or whatever into the DAC versus the iPod into the DAC. And this is useful for if you want to hook this up to your home stereo and you don't want to have to turn on your computer. Um, you know, I've, sometimes I just want to play a song and I don't necessarily want to have to fire up the computer or something like that. So I can just pop this in the dock, um, turn on this device, and then I have got music. You know, this device has preamp outs and that's going to my powered speakers. Uh, and then I have my music in a very high quality audio file quality. Now, I only run lossless files on my iPod, so I'm getting basically CD quality, um, and again, I'm using the digital out of this, so I'm bypassing the DAC of the iPod and using my DAC right here. Sounds quite good, and so I kind of recommend it. And as you can see, it's charging there. The other thing I forgot to mention about this Pure i20 dock is it also has a remote control. So this is powered by infrared. It has a little watch battery. But the cool thing about this is I can control the iPod with this remote control, including volume and stuff too. Generally, uh, the volume you want to have all the way up basically when you're using digital out, but I can actually lower the volume at least from across the room if I want. Not really across the room because this remote is a little bit weak, but let me see if I can show you that too. I can press menu and the menu comes up. I can press play. See, it starts playing the song. I've got, uh, you know, stop and I can go back a track, forward a track. Uh, and then I can also go into standby mode. Standby mode is uh, when it's just charging. As you can see, I, as you can see there. So it works quite well. And again, this was only about $100. So I think for the price, uh, it was well worth it. And Again, it's digital, so the quality uh, is going to be whatever source you're plugging it into, whatever DAC and amp you're plugging it into is pretty much going to determine the quality. So you're not really being limited by the internal DAC of the iPod or by the DAC of the actual dock itself. If you're plugging into a high quality audio file DAC, uh, you're going to get really good sound out of this, out of, out of this setup. So um, I'll post a link where you can get this. Again, I got it for about 100 bucks. 100 bucks and I really like it. It works on the iPod, um, all of the current model iPods as well as the iPhone as well. And uh, it's a great little device. I, I'm really enjoying it. It's not made super well. I mean like this is plastic and stuff like that. So I have heard that you know it's possible to actually break this and stuff. But if you're careful when you're putting it in and out, hopefully it should last a while. So again this has been my look of the Pure i20 iPod dock. Uh, here's the box that it comes in. And I'll show you the back of the box as well. 
While I'm here, let me just read you some of the features. It says it's got a high performance 24 bit 192 DAC, which I don't use because, um, again, I'm plugging it into my main uh, audio file DAC. It's got digital TOSLink and digital coaxial RCA and analog dual RCA audio outputs. It also has an S video output as well with an optional cable, so you can actually play a movie or video you know, into your TV using this thing from your iPod. Uh, it's got a remote control and it charges the iPod and iPhone. By the way, I forgot to mention an iPad could also be plugged into here and I believe it charges that as well. Be a little bit cumbersome because you see this base is a little bit small for an iPad. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.